Hello, hello, happy Tuesday. So, Tuesday, here we are, um, going with the themes that we used to have in the group. Uh, I wanted to do kind of a taboo topic today of diving deep. And I know with the full moon that we just had and with the week prior and the week after, uh, so many emotions, so many feelings were coming up. And now that we're kind of on the tail end of that, we're heading towards the new moon, um, which tomorrow night is uh, the Creating Your Magical Life Sisterhood. Hello, Krista. Uh, tomorrow night is the Creating Your Magical Life Sisterhood for the new moon. And we are going to be, I, I hadn't posted the workbook yet because I wasn't quite sure what the theme was. It was like the theme kept changing and, but I think what keeps coming up and we're going to talk about fear. So we are going to be planting seeds of trust, planting seeds of faith and really kind of, uh, getting that fear, um, mentality in shifted so that we can use the plant energy, use um, the new moon energy to plant seeds of trust and faith and kind of relinquish and release that fear. So if fear is something that is holding you back, I would love to have you join in the um, Creating Your Magical Life Sisterhood. Uh, I would love to have you there. So good morning, Nancy. Good morning, Gail. Good morning, Portia. Um, hello, hello, hello. So we're just, we're going to talk about going a little deeper today. And now that we're coming off of this full moon and we're really feeling a little bit, hopefully everybody's feeling a little bit more energized and hopefully everybody's kind of feeling like they caught their breath a little bit. Um, it was an insane beginning of the month. The beginning of the month was just like, waves crashing on us, right? And when we allow ourselves to kind of step back and go, okay, that was really intense. <laughs> Take a breath, right? Then we can kind of see how and in which ways we want to dive a little bit deeper. So of course, I would love for you to be in the, in the sisterhood. Um, there, I will put all the links to those in this video so that you guys can find them. Um, and the sisterhood is what we really do is we dive deeply with the help of acknowledging the seasons and acknowledging the moons. And with a new moon, we plant seeds of intention. And so just like today, I've been getting a lot of people who are saying, I don't want to go any deeper. I'm scared of what I'm going to find if I go deeper, right? And what is that going to do today? How can we dive a little bit deeper today? And in the next coming weeks with this new moon of planting seeds of saying, okay, I have faith that I'm not going to find anything that is going to harm me. Um, Yes, Krista said, our sisterhood rocks. We have such great growth and support. Yes, and there's really, I'm I'm blown away that there's really some amazing shifts going on because we can dive deeper together in a way that doesn't feel quite so scary. So if you have been kind of longing for or looking for ways of going a little bit deeper, in a way that feels really loving and supportive, um, that's a great place to be. And whenever we dive deeper, um, it's an amazing insight to see what's lurking behind our shadows. And I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be going, uh, 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 I'm house sitting for my mom for two weeks. And, um, and so I'm going to be not on Facebook live for two weeks, uh, starting next Monday. So we've got this last week together, which we're doing the last of the 30 days, right? So if you haven't done this, we're on day 27. I could not believe that we're almost finished with this 30 day challenge. And even if you just do the last couple days with us, I would love to see what kind of insight and what kind of awareness is brought to your attention. So with this 30 days, we've been able to kind of see the surface 
of what, you know, what are the waves that are rocking our boats? What are the storms that are coming in our lives? What kind of wipes us out? What gives us energy? We've been able to really see through just tracking our days and it's been able to bring us this awareness. And as we have this awareness in our lives, we can kind of create this bubble of okay, I've created this awareness and now it's time to go a little bit deeper. And um, so not only do we have the sisterhood coming up tomorrow night, but there's a free workshop on Friday, uh, July 21st. And the free workshop on Friday, we're going to dive deeper into what's possible. We're going to really be looking at what causes our and destroys our inspiration and what causes our overwhelm. And then we're gonna really kind of create this beautiful way to dive deeper into the secret of how to actually transform those so that we're not doing what everybody else is doing and having a life like everybody else. While their lives might look awesome on Facebook and Instagram, we don't necessarily wanna live anybody else's life, right? We wanna live our magical lives, and those are gonna look completely different than anybody else's life. So, um, with this awareness, with the awareness of looking at the big picture, only then when we have awareness of what is working, what is not working, can we dive deeper? If our foundation is rocky and tumultuous and isn't even there because we, you know, are all over the place and not aware that we're all over the place, diving deep is going to just send us into this chaotic space, right? We're going to be emotional. We're not going to know how to deal with anything. And life is going to seem even more awful, right? At <laughs> times it can feel even more overwhelming. So, good morning, Lonise. While I completely understand why, why some people are fearing going deeper, it is now the time. This, this, this wave has kind of lulled, right? We had this huge wave and huge crash of this, this full moon that we just had. Really intense emotional reactions. And now we have this gift. We have this beautiful gift to really open ourselves up to diving deeper. So let's put our let's put our diving masks on. Let's actually gear up, right? You don't do a deep dive. You don't go scuba diving without the proper tools. Nor should you just dive deep without the proper awareness and tools and preparation, right? You don't dive to the bottom of the ocean to go look at you know, an underground cave without, um, without the proper equipment. So just like there's so many, and I, I don't want any of you to feel like you, you should just dive deep. That's not what I'm saying. If you feel like you have the proper tools, then go for it, plan for it. And this is, you know, I do it each time that I take a bath. I really plan and prep and prepare the space for whatever is going to unfold. Sometimes I just get a really nice relaxing bath and sometimes I'm in there crying for an hour, just dealing and healing and creating space to dive deep. So Nancy, my fear of change is due now. Yeah, I'm ready to gear up. I love that. Um, and so what I'm saying is sometimes, sometimes it's necessary to find somebody to gear up with, right? When you learn how to scuba dive or when you learn how to do any of these like really amazing complex things, you have support. You're not just going on a deep dive by yourself trying to figure out the mask and everything as you go, right? So this is where support comes in. And I would love to be that support for you if you feel like we are, if we resonate together. Um, there is so many ways to do this. There's the sisterhood, which is $25 a month. Um, and then I have one-on-one -on -one mentoring, which starts at $97 a month. And then, of course, there's the Discover Your Rhythm group program that's going to be coming up for $147 for three months of group 
discovery and we are going to be diving deep in this discover your rhythm. It is not just going to be about, we are going to do the daily, weekly and seasonal planning or monthly planning, but we are going to dive deep in this and we are going to go deep into a place that feels nourishing and refreshing and amazing. So uh, there's three different ways. I'll put links to each of those different ways in this video, but when you're ready to dive deeper, it's often a wise idea to have a hand to hold so that you're not gearing up and trying to figure out and navigate the tools and the resources on your own. I did it until I said, okay, I really need more support. And then I invested. And I think it's important to not see that we're investing in a way that, um, I feel like it's sometimes we get mixed up. I do this too. I get mixed up with, do I need a mentor? Do I need this? And I forget that it's just a learning opportunity more one-on-one -on -one or more in a smaller group, right? I would, I would absolutely pay for a course. And yet sometimes we have this hiccup in our minds about whether mentoring is a learning opportunity. And it's a, a better lo learning opportunity than I've found anywhere else in the fact that you actually learn about yourself and you go within and you go deeper. But you have to be ready to do the dive. You have to be ready to put the gear on, so to say, and to learn how to use the tools so that you dive safely, so that you get to your destination in a way that the journey is amazing and fun and you're able to stare you're able to actually find the destination, which is really, for me, the magic within, um, which is filled with so much wonder, right? You never know what treasures are going to lie within there and how massive your life can shift once you reveal those treasures that are hidden in the deep, dark places. So I don't like to look at my things as skeletons in my closet because that is scary, right? You don't know. Skeletons are scary. I have a very much a lighter approach to my inner work and my deep work. The darkness is always shown in the light. And when we go in with knowing that we have light within, when we go in knowing that spirit is with us and that we don't have to do this journey alone, especially if you um, have support doing it. And I know a lot of the women in this group are coaches and mentors and healers yourself. Are you healing? Are you doing the deep diving necessary to take your women deeper? I know a lot of healers who love to help people heal. I see it all the time and I talk with them all the time. And they are ready to help women heal. And yet they're not doing the deep diving themselves. Possibly they just, they have a different way of healing. And so they're not sure of how to do deep dive work inside and within themselves. But I feel like this is really the precipice, right? We're halfway through the year. Things are going to shift and the year is going to be over so fast now. It seems like right after 4th of July, it's like this shift happens. All of a sudden summer's over, school starts and, you know, autumn's here and then it's Halloween and Christmas and then the year's done. I don't, I, I would love to pull us all in on this deep dive journey together where we can dive deeply into ourselves and in the year in a way that feels so amazing, right? I know, Nancy, the year's going to be over. Um, it, it, and it always happens, right? It's always like, oh, what happened? Where'd all the time go? So that's why I really wanted to start the journey now. If we can do this Discover Your Rhythm program together, then by the time um, Halloween is here, we're going to have this amazing rhythm. We're going to have this amazing insight and we're going to be able to finish the year in a way that feels so amazing and connected and allow ourselves to really discover what is going on. So, hello, Emily. Uh, so here is what I wanted to share. The deep diving. What feels like is time to go deeper? Good morning, Laura. What is it that is ready to be explored? And you might know already. You might know what you have been avoiding. I know I've had five conversations this week 
And it's come up with five different women in the group of them knowing that they need to dive deeper, but they're like, no, I'm good. Um, and so that's why I found, I think that's why the theme was holding off for the sisterhood. So we're going to really be diving into fear in the sisterhood and really exploring what we're, what we're afraid of. What would happen if we did have our magical lives? I think so often um, we create vision boards and we create, you know, all of these awesome magical things and we journal and we dream, but we don't necessarily acknowledge what would happen if we actually had those dreams come to life. That fear in the back of our minds of what if everything changed, right? If we don't acknowledge those things, if we don't acknowledge, well, on the other side of this is really uncomfortable. On the other side of this is fear because I know what happens when I'm stuck in the muck and I know what to expect from my, from my partner who, you know, maybe doesn't speak to me kindly. That's comfortable, right? Even though it's uncomfortable, we sometimes stay in the uncomfortableness of life because the unknown is so much more uncomfortable and causes us so much fear. But really in order to create the magical lives and to have an impact in our own well-being and in the lives of our families and our children, it's time to step out of the uncomfortableness and really into a place of being, of allowing, of stepping into faith and trust. And like um, last week's Facebook Live, which was really all about never feeling lonely again and connecting within, I think that is the first step in order to really diving deeper, is learning to trust our inner selves again. Sometimes our inner selves have betrayed us in a way and have left us in a way that we feel very lonely because we've trusted our intuition or what we thought was our intuition and we we were led astray. So Nancy said, um, and I've been stuck, I've been in this stuck muck and healing of since your dad passed. Yeah. And your body healing. I'm stronger now to carry the gear. I've been in this world solo. Um, now it's time for me. Time to have no more fear. Absolutely. Nancy, that that is a breath of fresh air, right? When you can say, okay, I still might be scared, but I'm going to put the gear on and I'm going to take a step in a direction <clears throat> that I've never been in before. And a lot of times as moms, we automatically cut ourselves down and we go, I'm a full-time stay-at-home mom. I don't have time or I don't have the money. And you're automatically letting the fear and the limiting thoughts keep you stuck where you are. For who? Your kids don't want you stuck in the muck. Your kids want you empowered. Your kids want you thriving. Your, your family wants to see you shining, right? They want to see you as a shining light and as a beacon for your home. Not as, oh, there's mom. Yep, she's been that way since I was a kid. That is not what we want our kids to be saying about us. We want our kids to say, yeah, my mom rocks. She's always grooving. She's always working hard. Not working hard in the sense of like working, but she's always putting it out there. She's always improving herself. She's always making it better for us. She's always learning new tools and insights to help us heal, right? We want to give our kids the tools and the power to really create a life of their magical dreams. If you put off your magical life out of fear, your kids will too. Period. Period. If we do not show our children how to live a magical life, then they're going to be the same. They're going to, the cycle's going to repeat. The cycle is going to repeat. I was talking about this yesterday in the Facebook Live a little bit about generational themes, and then my Facebook Live just plop, plop, plop. So, um, these generational themes of your mother sacrificing everything, right? Right when we became a mom, we sacrificed everything. Or if your mom was really selfish and narcissistic, oftentimes we take that on and then twist it with this weird, like, 
no, I can't actually give to myself. But in the meantime, you're distracting yourself and, and so self-absorbed that you're in your Facebook all the time that you're not even connecting. A little harsh, I know. But sometimes it's the awareness that it takes to change. We do not want to pass on these disgusting generational themes that have been in our families for thousands of years to our children, our magical children. We really want to create dynamic change in our own lives and to heal completely. Learn to trust our intuition again. Reclaim our magic within. And yes, Nancy, and break the cycle so that our children never have to heal in the same way again. If we can create healing within ourselves, our children are going to heal at whatever age they are. They're not going to go into these uh, years of fear of healing. It's just going to be a natural part of life, right? Mom heals. I know that, mom, you know, they're going to look to us as the healers of the home and it's going to become so natural that to them to heal that they're not going to have these weird funky fear aspects around healing so nancy thank you it helps so much if if uh when it kind of makes sense so thank you for that encouragement of the thumbs up it's really wonderful knowing that these things are making sense um Laura, that was uh, hitting the nail on the head, noticing the cycle that I've twisted. Yeah, sometimes we can either copy our parents, um, which is not healthy, and then sometimes we can actually take it and twist it and yet still not realize that there's like this underlying really weird... Now it's twisted because we didn't want to be them, but you get what I'm saying, I hope. So... Allowing ourselves to first, and this is why I was so passionate and I am so passionate about this 30-day rhythm. The 30-day rhythm for me was really about creating this awareness. Where are we in this lack of healing or in our healing journey? Where are we and what needs to happen next? How can we really create space to put the gear on. It's time to gear up. And if you're not ready, then you're going to be with us at the same time next year. And in next July, when I talk about the whole new discover your rhythm journey or whatever we're on next year, right? You're going to go, wow, they had a whole year. They had a whole year of, of learning and discovering and healing. And here I am right here. I do not want that for you. And it doesn't mean that you have to work with me, but it does mean that you need to start doing the work, right? You need to start doing the inner work so that you can start stepping forward and healing and getting out of this life of fear. The fear doesn't need to be in your head or in your heart anymore. Look at, I, I do it, I do it every morning, right? When sometimes I go, eee, I just don't know what I'm going to talk about in Facebook Live and who really wants to hear me and what am I doing? Why am I doing this, you know? And then I press go live every morning and I step out of the fear and I know that whatever is going to come through is going to be perfect, right? And if I didn't, I would be doing a disservice to myself. I would not be healing myself. I would not be healing my kids. And then I would be not giving what was meant to be given this morning. So, um, yeah, Nancy was saying um, she's been the healer of dad and mom and now children. The children are healers, right? And now it's time to really heal yourself, which you know you're right there. I know you've said it a couple times that now it's time for that awareness to heal yourself. Imagine how much more powerful of healers, of miracle workers, of magical mothers we will be when we do the work on ourselves first and then as an outpouring into the rest of the world. I would not be able to do what I'm doing now 
with the Facebook Lives and really creating and doing the 30 Day Rhythm. I'm writing a book. I have um, two other books that are in the process. I'm making a planner, a magical mother, a Discover Your Rhythm Magical Mothering planner. That's hopefully going to be out soon. Um, I'm making new decks of cards. There is no way that I would be able to outpour any of this in a way that felt energizing and in a way that felt easy and effortless if I didn't take the time to dive deep. So now's the time. Let's gear up together. Let's really go in and put our tanks on. We have support, right? I really see like the oxygen tanks and the masks as spirit. We don't have to do this alone. And I'm pretty much your scuba diving instructor, ready to dive into the depths of the caves. I hope there's crystals and treasures and amazingness, right? So um, you're right. I already lived in fear in an abusive marriage for 14 years. Now is the time to heal myself and not accept any fear. And fear is going to continue to be in our lives. Fear is fear is great. Fear is fear is knowing that we're on the cusp of something amazing. And fear and uncomfortability intertwined and hugging together is even better. Because <laughs> then we know that when we push through that, wow, when we push through the fear and we fit, push through the uncomfortableness, when we're following our intuition, not just because, right? We've, we've done that before and that doesn't work out. When we're following our intuition and our inner knowing, that is when true magic happens. Oh, go wipe it. <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, I just got shown a, a poopy butt. So I guess that's my cue to go do my motherly duties with uh, my kids. So I hope you have just an absolutely magical Tuesday. Um, I look forward to seeing some new faces in the sisterhood, I hope. And, um, and then if anything, on Friday for the free workshop, um, Learning to stand up for yourself too. Yes, Laura, that is huge. I love that. Laugh aloud to do, 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 duty. Yes, go do my duty. My my mothering duty. So, peace and blessings to all of you. I love you. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow and hopefully doing our deep dive over the next uh, next journey together. I love you all. Bye.